Let's take a look at perimeter. Now, first of all, what is perimeter? Perimeter is the distance around the edges of a shape. So it's all the side lengths added together. First of all, let's look at a square. Now, in a maths question, generally when they're talking about squares, they will only give you one side length. And the reason for that is because in a square, all side lengths are exactly the same. So they don't need to give you every side. They just need to give you one and you need to appreciate that if one side is eight, then all sides are eight. So therefore the perimeter is gonna be eight plus eight plus eight plus eight or eight times four, which is 32 centimeters. With a rectangle, they might give you one side as let's say 10 centimeters and another one which is five centimeters. In a rectangle, opposite sides are equal. So this side is also gonna be 10 and this side will be five. So the perimeter is gonna be 10 plus five plus 10 plus five, 10, 20, 30. So the perimeter of this rectangle is 30 centimeters. Now with the triangle, they might tell you that the triangle is an equilateral triangle, or they might show you a triangle with these dashes. And this means that these sides are the same length. On an equilateral triangle, all sides are equal. So if they tell you that this side is 10 centimeters, then that means all the sides are 10 centimeters. So therefore the perimeter is 10 plus 10 plus 10, which is 30 centimeters. This triangle is an isosceles triangle. They might tell you it's isosceles, or they might indicate that it's, it's isosceles by putting these dashes in. So if they label one side as 12 centimeters and another as eight centimeters, and you're thinking, how am I supposed to work out the perimeter because I don't know this side? Well, on an isosceles triangle, these two sides are the same. So this side is also gonna be 12. So 12 plus eight plus 12. So the perimeter is 32 centimeters. If it's a regular shape, remember in a regular shape, all sides are equal. So if you're told it's a regular pentagon, so a pentagon is a five sided shape, you don't need to know that it's obvious one, two, three, four, five, and they tell you it's got a side length of let's say six, then every side is going to be six, and five times six, or six plus six plus six plus six plus six is 30. Here we have a regular hexagon. So again, if they tell you that one side is eight centimeters, then every side is going to be eight centimeters. So therefore the perimeter is eight plus eight plus eight plus eight plus eight plus eight or six times eight, 48 centimeters. Now be careful with the perimeter of compound shapes. Uh, again, all it is is all the side lengths added up, but sometimes they don't give you every single side length. So let's say they've given you 15 across the bottom, 12 across the top, four centimeters here, and three centimeters here, but they've not given you this side and this side. Well, if it's 15 from this point to this point, and it's four centimeters from here to here, then from here to here, it's gonna be 15 minus four, so this side is 11. Similarly, if it's got a height of 12, and this height is three, then this height here is 12 take away three, which is nine centimeters. Now, all we need to do is add up every side, but we need to be careful that we add every single number uh, and we also need to be careful that we don't add a number in twice. So I normally mark a point where I'm starting and I normally go around anti-clockwise. I don't know why, uh, you can go around, you can pick any corner and you can go around in any direction you want as long as you've got a system that works. So four plus 12 is 16, plus 15 is 31, plus three is 34, plus 11 is 45, plus nine is 54. So here the perimeter is 54 centimeters. So with the compound shapes, it's just about working out the missing side lengths that is the, that's generally the difficult part.